lesson four, parameters and return make. At the conclusion of this, you'll be able to write a function with parameters and return value that meet a set of specified requirements, and you'll be able to debug your program that has such things. Now, how do parameters and return change the way you write programs? Ah, you can write a shell and you can tell it to go off and do something, come back, go off and do something else, and come back with an answer. Um, for instance, not this particular program, but I could have a list of values and I could say, find average. And the function would go off, add everything in the list that I sent it, and return back the average or the mean. I could say, find maximum value in this list. Send the list, and the maximum value comes back. There's all ways where I can send stuff away and have another function do it. Somebody else can write the code how to do it. I don't need to know how. I just need to know what you need in order to complete the task. That's one way where multiple people could work on a program. It also changes the way that you write because then you can write collaborative programs more easily. Today we're going to be working on this make project. It's a little different from ones previously done. A lot of the code will already be written for you and you will be working on blank functions rather than entirely blank programs. Thanks to the way that parameters return, parameters and return work, it's easy to design programs in this manner. Okay, so you're going to have find icon, random choose, and decide winner. Find icon, you're going to find which icon, rock, paper, or scissors, that you want. Random choose, that allows the player to choose their rock, paper, or scissor randomly. And decide winner is based on rock smashes scissors, um, paper wraps rock, scissors cut paper, etc. Now, to do this activity, the first thing you need to do is take a look at how the app is supposed to run, how it's supposed to work. So how is it envisioned? So at this time, pause the video and go to Unit 7, Lesson 4, Level 2, and run the app. Click on the buttons. Notice what happens, okay? What does each button do? How does the screen get updated after clicking each button? Pause the video and take just two or three minutes and go and run it and notice what's happening. Now that you're back, again, this Make Project is different and you're gonna to need to rewrite three functions using the comments that are provided in code.org. Okay, things that you wanna do is first, Write the code for the find icon first. Notice that the list of possible icons is available on line two. Test your code. Once your program is working, you should see the correct icon show up on the game board when you pick rock, paper, or scissors. Then, write the code to make the random choose function work as described. You should only be working inside that function. Test your code again. Once the program is working, you should see the computer player is able to pick randomly between rock, paper, and scissors. Notice that you can keep running this. You're doing an iterative debugging process. Once that's all working, write the code to make the decide winner function work as described. You should only be working inside that function. This function will probably be the hardest and you will have to write an if else if statement. Test your code. Once the function is done and working, your app should be completely working and correctly updating the score on the screen. For reference, rock beats scissor, paper beats rock, scissors beat paper. Add comments to each of your functions explaining how you wrote the code. Test the app to make sure it works for every combination of rock, paper, and scissors. All right? Now, this should take you mm, no more than an hour to complete. All right, so you're gonna go to Unit 7, Lesson 4, Level 3. You can use the activity guide to plan out your code. Don't forget, you're only working inside the three functions at the bottom of the program. Use programming patterns to help and test your code as you go. Step three includes steps you can follow to build the app, or you can use your own process. And by the way, step three is what I just showed you. So this app or this activity guide is available either from the Canvas course or on code.org. Now, be ready to submit. Before submitting, double check that you hit everything here in your rubric. 
that your find icon function works, your random choose function works, your decide winner works, that it runs without error, and that you do have comments in your code so somebody could go in and understand what you did and how you did it. You can click submit then in code.org. As a wrap up, how could using parameters and return help you write programs collaboratively? You could actually get together and one person could write find icon, somebody else could write um, random choose, and another person could write decide winner. And you could essentially cut your work time by a third or a half, okay? Next lesson, when we're done with this, will be libraries. Are you ready? We're almost to the end of all the stuff you're going to learn about coding this year. Again, next up is libraries.